Marianne Dimitrov of Bulgaria. Our first man to go. All out on his own. One rep. But he didn't get his head through. But uh, the referee will have called what he's looking for at the start and told them all. Some look for the head through, some don't. What's important, actually, is the arms are locked, and so too the legs, and the legs aren't moving when the arms are locked. Dimitrov, then, wasn't exactly the easiest first rep. Tries to power up a second. Ooh. Well, just a few inches away, a few centimetres away. One rep only for Dimitrov. Now then, Aidan Arnott of Bosnia, Herzegovina. And let's see how he gets on here. Up to the chest, leans back. He looks like a big bench presser, and that is what he's going to try and do. Very nice. Not good for the lower back, but uh, if you've got a big chest, that's one of the ways to do it, Bill Kazmaier style. From back in uh, the early 80s, that's how Kaz first did it. He was world's strongest man three times, Bill Kazmaier. The first man to hold the log lift world record. Which, believe it or not, was only about this weight. Now they're trying to do it for repetitions, though just one there for Aidan Arnott of Bosnia-Herzegovina. Belitsar Mitov next, the big Bulgarian. Plenty of cheers from the local crowd. They'd love to see him do well here. Up, up, up. Ooh, he didn't get it. He never locked out. That was a good decision by the referee. Yes. And he's wasted a rep. Just one at the moment. Disappointing, perhaps. That's the way it is. So, number two. Little jerk with the legs and brings into play those massive arms of his. Yes, he's been given it. Quite rightly so, and he knows when to call it a day. And that was the right moment, I think. Two reps, he's the leader, Mitov. Beljak of Slovenia now. Now, he's got to be good for uh, five or six at this kind of weight, I'd imagine, if he's on form, that is. Boom, little pop with the legs. Lucky to get that first one. He didn't hold it quite properly at the top. But he shot it up so quickly. Oh, that's more of a bench press, that one. Didn't really get the legs into play there. And if he lifts it like that, he'll only be good for another one. That was better. He got his legs into that one. Little push with the legs first. Saves the upper body power. Very nice indeed. Number four, 25 seconds to go. Up, up. Oh, my goodness me, he just snatched that one. That was, uh, he knows it. Very impressive from the Slovenian. And, well, he pulled that one down a little early, I think. He wasn't given the result by the referee. Still on five. Got to hold it up there. Holds it that time and makes no mistake. I think he got a warning earlier. A little quick on the way down, so six for Belzac. He's the leader as Irvin Katona comes out. And uh, I'm afraid Katona does not have the best of lockouts, as it's known. His elbows overhead. Watch them. Yeah, they're never perfectly straight, but then again, do 250 contests, and the wear and tear on your elbows leaves your arms ever so slightly bent. <laughs> Good power. You can get it up there. The referees, of course, they know Katona. They know that he hasn't got a particularly good lockout. And uh, just like in Olympic weightlifting, they take that into account. Now, number five. Oh, he lost that. He lost that one. He suddenly got a bit dizzy there and staggered backwards. Zistov. Majakovsky, he's got some... Really impressive power in his triceps. Extreme power. Look at that. It's just so light to him. It's unbelievably light. 
phenomenal. I find it quite amazing. <laughs> He's some man, Radzikowski. There's another one. Just throws it up like a shot put. Bang. Six. He's going to charge off into the lead here. I think eight or nine is very possible for him. Well, he's checking there to see what the others have done. Number eight. And a wave to the crowd. Oh, there was two more there. Absolutely two more. Eight for Radzikowski. Well, I guess he knows that Bjornsson's not as good as him at this event. So he's probably taken a bit of a gamble there. And, of course, Todorchev going last, definitely not as good in the overhead department. Bjornsson. Well, at this rate, he's doing one every six seconds. He could squeeze 10 in here if he keeps this pace up. There's three and 18. Oh, good Radzikowski have made a calculated error. Four in 30. So at this pace, maybe eight. He could equal Radzikowski. Ah, has Radzikowski done his mathematics well here or what? Now he's got a tyre wrapped in the end. Doesn't bother him. <laughs> Stand back, the mighty Thor. One more will uh, put him ahead of the rest of the pack. Three seconds left. Oh, come on, Thor! Well, you can't take the clock on screen for definite. He's been given it. He squeezed it in just in time. Now, Todorchev of Bulgaria. Of course, the referees on the left there, they've got the official timing. It's just a guesstimation for uh, those watching the screen graphics. And Marcel Moster and Ilka Kinnanen on the left. They've been doing, well, they must have refereed at least a couple of hundred contests together. Maybe more, maybe a few hundred. Stoyan Todorchev, there we go. Those incredibly long arms of his, which are great for deadlifting, but just no use for pressing. They need a little bump with the legs to get this weight moving. There's three. He's put himself ahead of most of the pack, though, with three. He's now really hunting down five or six to start claiming more points. I don't think he'll do that. He might get this fourth, though. Whoa! That does deserve a cheer. And uh, the referee says, that's enough there, Stoyan. Four reps. Christoph, eight reps, 150 kilo. Looks easy for you. Yes, yes, I come in back after injury. And I'm happy I do it the straight press. I'm not standing in, uh, in my chest only one, uh, one, one movie. I'm very happy for this. Now, it looks like for the other athletes, it was quite tough. Uh, you win some points now on uh, Stoyan. What do you think of him? Yeah, I'm competing with him a lot of time. He's very strong, very, uh, very dynamic athlete, very fast. His only problem is pressing events. But now, yoke, stones, deadlift, we will be uh, a lot of fight. Well, it will be a good fight anyway today. Tor is here, you are here. In the previous stage, you won in Finland. What about today? Ah, we'll see. Two events. Now I have a lot of points. Four events to end. We'll see.